Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Hunter 2 on Warner's playthrough. Last time we did mission 200, and uh, we did we looked a little bit of uh, research, and we said we would try and uh, design a brand new cruiser, a normal cruiser, not a twin hold cruiser or anything crazy like that. We're gonna try and design a normal cruiser that will still be, you know, halfway decent um, at this point of the game. So we have this cruiser here with, let's see, 2700, so that's a net weight of like 5300, right? Yeah, 5300, uh, let's see, um, yeah, it's definitely gonna have the most capacity for us, and the most endurance. Uh, two aircraft, so, eh, you know, um, but we'll, uh, we'll try out the special cruiser, I suppose. This is mostly gonna be a missile cruiser, so that is what we'll be relying on here. Um, what are we going to want for... How are we going to start this off? Let's start off with a bridge. So we're probably going to want the fancy bridges. Uh, wow. Gamma or... Hmm. I guess we'll go with Delta here. We'll put that right there. Sure, because we're also going to get an aft bridge. Um, and we're going to want that one for sure. Thankfully, it's not terribly, you know, huge. Um, okay, next. We're going to want uh, missiles. I don't know. I don't think we have any really crazy missiles here, do we? Not yet. Uh, well, do we have drill missiles? We do have drill missiles. Okay, that could be an option. Um, we have some cruise missiles we could stick on here. Rams, of course, we're going to be using... Uh, cluster missiles. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, the multi-purpose missiles will be auto-fire. They're VLS and pretty lightweight. So we might go with some of those. High explosive missiles. Those sound fun. We only get two shots, though. Uh, so I don't know. Let's see. I have an infinite amount of them. Let's uh, let's put on a couple of these because I don't honestly know what they do, um, or like what kind of damage we can realistically expect out of them. I mean, sure we could look at the paper stats all day long, but trying it out in game is a totally different beast. So we'll put a few of those on there, but those won't be our primary. Our primary, I think we're gonna try and go with the drill missiles. Uh, let's see if I can. Let's see. Uh, against any target. Wow, even against subs, huh? And against air? That's awesome, actually. Um, burrows through armor and detonates inside the target. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, yeah, I would like to have some of these on here. So let's try to line the bow with these guys as much as we can, anyways. So let's go there, and there, there, there. Now, how many rounds does that give us? Is this gonna, whoops, is this gonna tell me how much ammo we have? 160. Hmm. I feel like we can do better than that. Let's see, I could go like this, and not like that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so we gotta go there, and we can get them inside a little bit. Okay, there's the drill missiles. We have 320 rounds now. I like that. Okay, next let's go for some... I mean, heck, those can be used against subs, but I would still like to have Azrocks. Azrocks are just an awesome anti-sub kind of armament here. So, let's go with an Azrock there, and one there, and one there, one there, there, and there. Ooh, let's get some armor on here before I forget. Uh, before I get carried away with weapons, we want to make sure we have a good amount of other things going for us here. Oof, 2025. That's quite a weight difference. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, let's start with 20, I guess. It seems a little light. Let's go for 25, and if we have to dial it back, we can. And I want to get my systems on here as well before I forget. Uh, let's see, what are you? Locks on enemy targets. Yeah. Adjust aiming coordinates. Targets are hit without need to aim precisely. Oh, yeah, so that's like the dispersion one. See this? I'm not sure if this acts as... 
Oh, I know what that one does. It's like aim assist, so it'll pull your reticle towards an enemy, but it won't necessarily act as an Aegis. I remember that one. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Raises surface detection and command capabilities. Okay. Um, well, some of the things I absolutely must have are Aegis System 3 and Auto Reload. Firing delay is not going to help me here. Auto Reload System Gamma. And I'm tempted to put a really nice radar on here because we're going to want that anyways. So let's see here. Isn't there a, a good kind of fire control? Oh, that's just command. Um, I thought there was a nice... Ooh, we're going to want auto countermeasures. I thought there was a system that gives you radar and sonar in one system. But I don't remember which one that was. Okay, ECM. Decreases accuracy of enemy weapons. Reduces lock-on jamming. See, I would like that, for sure. Then, steering systems, of course, I would like to have... I don't know if I'll need that. Oh, we gotta put engines in this thing. Like, quickly. Before I get way too ambitious with the weight here. Okay, power source. These are gonna be way too heavy. 700 tons? Yeah. No. We're gonna end up going with boilers here. Oh, uh, boy. Well, yeah, it's not what I wanted, but what we got. So, let's try to go... Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, seriously? This is absurd. Oh, my God, these things are heavy. Okay, let's dial back the armor. Wow, I totally forgot about having engines in here. Ooh, this is gonna get ugly quick. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. One, two, three, four turbines. Okay, we're already going 56. And I'll be honest, that surprises me. Here's the other problem, though, is we still gotta have ram uh, room for weapons. And I'm just not seeing how we're gonna pull that off. So let's get... We're gonna need machine guns, obviously, for interception of things. Let's go for CIWS, I suppose. And we'll try to stick them out here on the edges as much as we can. But, uh... Yeah, so five, six pair... Seven pair? Sure. You're gonna want some high angles, as per the norm. Uh, 75 caliber... I used to have, like, a really particular system I would do with high angles and CIWS and stuff, where it was like... CIWS, or well, it was machine gun, high angle, machine gun, space, machine gun, high angle, machine gun, space, machine gun, high, you know, etc. But, uh, I don't know. I suppose we could try to go back to that? I don't know, it just seems... <laughs> it seems unnecessarily difficult now. You know, given the situation here, but... It did look cool. I mean, that's kind of why I did it, because it looked nice, I thought. It's all orderly and stuff. So let's go with that. Get one of these in here. Whoops. Grab these guys. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll put them there. So we got seven pair CWS, three pair of high angle. Ah, uh, can I put like a helipad on the back? That would be nice. God, the weight limit. Heliports. Can I stick it, like, way out here? I can. I can stick it way out there. Yeah, but that is really heavy. Man, oh man. What are we gonna do about this? <laughs> well, let's see. If I dump two of these... Wow. We can really dump a lot of these and not have to worry about speed too much, man. Well, here, if I do that, oh my God, I'm running on four boilers, and it's, like, plenty. Now, here's a question. That's 7,500 output. Here's an interesting question. 7,500 output per boiler. Uh, let's see. Let's get a nice value-to-weight ratio here. 7,500 output, 200 tons. As opposed to... Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, 900 tons... 
Uh, that'd be 1,800 tons, but 42,000 output. Gosh, we might be better off doing that, as opposed to having four boilers. Well, let's see. Nope. Um, what if we went with the other... What if we went with a single fusion reactor? Oops. Nope. 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 Let's see. Standalone fusion reactor. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Maybe we can just go with one fusion reactor. You know, that's not bad. That ain't that ain't half bad. And if we go down here, we've still got room for more systems. Uh, if we grab our ETEC Prop 2. Nice. I like it. Then we want to get... Hmm. Command minus 25. See, I don't think I like that very much. Uh, forward thruster, bow thrusters. See, I don't, I don't think I need. Turn radius is reduced, and the vessel can even turn when stopped engine. Yeah, see, I don't think I need bow jet thrusters. Not on this guy. This guy should have plenty of, um, plenty of turn capability on its own, even despite that. Defensive systems. I mean, we're pretty much gonna need an EM shield and. Gosh, uh, hmm, I'm thinking about going with a gravity shield, quite frankly. Let's do that. Oh, gosh. Seriously? Is that enough? No. Well, what the heck? What the heck am I going to do? Uh, uh, get rid of one of those, I guess. Wow, this is harder than I thought it would be. Well, um, let's get the aircraft on there. We just want a pair of helicopters. Support choppies. Get two of these guys. There we go. Um, we have our Aegis systems set, structures, searchlights. Do they weigh anything? Oh, they do. Well, we have a little bit of room to work with here. Get whoops, get a pair of get two pair of searchlights on there. Other structures we just do not have space for. We got the basic weapons. As rocks, drill missiles. We don't have rams, but we don't have the carry capacity for rams right now. Um, hmm. Well, I think we'll we'll run with this, and we'll see how it how it does. I don't anticipate it to be great, but we will try it. Um, hmm. This is not this is not an ideal kind of ship for this mission. Uh. Looks pretty cool, but I don't expect it to do that well. We're going to have a lot of aircraft coming at us. And I just feel like we're going to run out of drill missile ammo quickly. But, got that forward thruster on there. I did want to at least do one story mission today. Uh, let's see, oh, I think we're going to have to go this way. Oh, I don't have a good radar system on here, which is just slightly annoying. Let's see how much each one of these drill missiles does, because I don't know if I'm going to need to use a whole bunch of missiles per ship. Oh, God. Okay, that's not looking good. Oh, chaff. Chaff is a big thing I should have put on here. I was worried about that. Okay, drill missiles. Not impressive. High explosive missiles. Let's see. Let's see what the high explosive does. Wow. Okay, that was cool. I like that. Yep, should have had some chaff. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh no. I. What? Are we good? Might be good. Alright. Um. I don't know if I'm just, like, avoiding these or what's happening here, but. Okay, well, this is definitely a failure of a design here. Ugh. Okay, gotta say, not impressed with the drill missiles. Really, really not impressed. This is, this is a disappointing amount of damage here. Wow, okay. Yeah, that was, uh, that wasn't cool. Let 
They're not even doing a lot to the submarines, man. They're just submarines. They're pretty soft targets, but... I'm having a hard time with submarines, let alone these big ships that I've also got to try and deal with. Holy crap. This is, uh... I'd say this is kind of a failure of a design here. I don't like this way... I don't like the way this is going here. Let's see. You know what? Screw it. Fire them all. Fire all the big missiles at once. Yeah, I got all these missiles coming at me that I can't do much about because I don't have chaff. I mean, this isn't just god awful, but it ain't great. I mean, this is this is not ideal. Here, that's a full ammo. I want that. Hello. Yep, we can get right in close to these guys. All right. There's a nice full ammo for me. This, I mean, look at how little damage I'm doing here. Ow. All right. Hold on. I'll fire one more high explosive at that guy. We're going to get a full repair here. Beginning repairs. Boom, boom. Oh my god. These are some insanely tough carriers here. Repairs complete. Arming weapons. Full speed ahead. Fire on deck. Fire the missiles. Ready to attack. Fire them quickly. Look at how the little damage I'm doing. I'm already on fire again. Fire contained. Fire on yep. deck. Fire contained. Fire on deck. Go figure. Oof. This is not pretty. Look at how many missiles I'm using on this guy. Even the even the high explosive missiles are doing like nothing. One carrier sunk, oh my god. Wow, a millennia later. We got one carrier down. I'm gonna go for that ammo over there and try to refill my drill missiles. Oh, not my not my drill missiles, my high explosives, because it's the only thing that's working here. One and two and three. Four, five. This is insane. Why are these cruisers so powerful? Are these carriers? I mean, what the hell? Enemy aircraft carrier. Okay. Stop. Wow. Secondary objective added. Enemy <laughs> reinforcement spotted. It's gonna be a bit of a long episode here, guys. Ammo. Uh, two ammo crates. Good. I can use one for my drill missiles and one for my. High explosives. So I'm gonna need both. Yeah. This is crazy. You know what? I don't even care, man. Yeah, fire all of the high explosives right now. Do it. Evidently, I need to. Oh, of course. Fire all of the drill missiles. I bet that even if I went through all 270 some odd drill missiles here, it probably wouldn't even sink it. Yeah, Allied base destroyed. Uh, probably by the submarines that are hanging out over there, if anything. This uh, this ship does not do enough damage. I don't want to give up on the missile cruiser idea just yet, but we definitely got to do something else because that is just not even close to being enough damage. <sighs> I thought drill missiles were going to be cool, but they ain't, they ain't that cool. Well, hmm. Let's take a minute to look at this here and see what else we could try. This is part of why cruisers are just not as practical at this point of the game. I want to do a missile cruiser. I mean, there's a lot of ways I could just break the game and make an absolutely ridiculous cruiser. But I want to try a missile cruiser. Now, granted, I don't have every missile researched, but, I mean, I feel like I should be in better shape than this, for sure. Um, because, wow. So, let's see, the anti-ship missile VLS do 500 damage each. The drill missiles are doing eight, no, 180. Okay, wow, that, that is pretty weak. 
I would have been a lot better off with these, but I would have had quite a bit less ammo, too. <laughs> the cluster missiles do 400 each. Ugh. Well, let's see. These guys do 1,000 each. That's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. Let's see. They're 1,000 damage and 80 tons. Drill missiles were 120 tons. Okay. Hey, maybe these could work. I bet these could work here. Let's try to... Well, here. Let's, let's undo, undo. Then what we're going to do is we're going to replace these guys with... Uh, God, I hate this replace menu because it's not, like, organized. As well, it's a little organized, but not much. Okay, anti-ship missile 3. These ones. There. Now we got to rearrange some of these guys. Like this. And we want to... There we go. Alright. Well, you know, um, I'm willing to give that a shot next episode. But until then, that will do it for this episode of Warship Gunner 2 on Warner's Path. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.